Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to show you how Null is changing again in C Sharp 14, which is in a few months. And it's a change overall which I think you should be using when it comes out and you should know about it 100%. Because it looks like something you should be able to do already in C Sharp, but you can't. And now we will be able to. And I will also talk about a few issues with it, which other people haven't talked about, where it can be a bit unusable or confusing. So let's take a look at what we have here. So I have this program.cs console application, and I have a customer class with a name and an age, and then an update customer class with an update age method. So we pass down the customer, and then we update the age. Now, the whole point of this demo is to have some customer over here. Let's go ahead and create uh, the name and say, it's Nick Chapsas, and then we have the age, and let's say 31. So the idea is that as you call the update customer dot update age method, you pass down the customer, which can be null, and then we pass down the new age. So as you can see in this method over here, we have a null check because customer can be null. But if the customer is not null, then we update the age. Pretty straightforward. If I just run this, you're going to see that the console write line method will say 32 because the check goes in here and then it just sets the age. Now, the argument is that there can be cases where customer can be null. For example, if I have something like this where we say random.shared.next, I don't know, 1 to 10 is more than 5, then return the customer otherwise return null. This sort of imitates something, for example, like a database call where the customer by ID might not exist and you get back the customer and then you call the method. So as you can see now, my compiler will warn that, hey, this can actually be null. This can possibly be null and you'll get an exception. So what do you want to do here? Well, you can say question mark and you have this very nice syntax which says that if the customer is not null, use the age, otherwise return nothing. And in this console write line method, it will basically be empty. So if I just run this, for example, we're going to see 32. If I run it again, you're going to see nothing because on the first try, we got a customer. On the second try, we did not get a customer. Pretty straightforward. And all of this is covered in our update customer method because we have this null check. And that is nice. But there's a bit of an issue. I mean, it's not really an issue, but you basically have a shorthand for this customer age, which ultimately is like this. If customer is null, then return string dot empty, otherwise return customer age. And we don't have to have this long way of writing it. We can simply use this question mark over here to read the value in a null defensive way. But we don't really have this in C sharp here to set it. And ultimately, that's what Microsoft is adding. So if we go and change the customer and we say that the customer is a business, it is Dome Train, which is my courses website, and the age is one, and then we update the age to two, which is exactly, by the way, what just happened because it's Dome Train's second birthday, and all of our courses on the website are 40% off with code birthday two. Link in the description. We just launched a massive Let's Build It course on how to build a full stack multi tenant SaaS system from scratch, including testing, deploying to the cloud, accepting payments with Stripe, everything. Link in the description, one of my favorite courses on the platform. But if we do something like this and we say return, you're going to get the exact same thing here. It is null because it happened to be null. But you can actually now in C Sharp 14 delete that if check and simply go here. And now you can say here question mark. So now what this will do, and don't worry about Rider not having this feature implemented yet. If I actually compile, because I'm using the preview version of the next C Sharp, this will just work. But now what's going to happen, I'm going to put a breakpoint here. Then the code will come in here. As you can see, the customer is null. But if I just run this now and I step over it, it's just going to work. It's not going to crash and nothing will be set because the customer does not exist. So that null check we had before, which used to be like this, now can be shorthand written like this. Given that the read feature existed before this, it can look a bit confusing at first in terms of what it means. But all it basically means is, hey, if the customer is not null, then set this value, set this property value. That's all there is to it. And generally, I pretty like this way of doing things. I think it's a good welcome change and it simplifies how we write null defensive code uh, quite 
a lot. And the great thing about this implementation is that Microsoft, and I'm assuming Writer as well eventually, will give you a refactoring like this where you can say to whatever, in this case it's to conditional expression like this, but you will actually get the inverse. If you have something like this in your code base, the IDs will be smart enough to go and say, change this into this new feature, which by the way is called null conditional assignment. So overall, I think it's a net positive. It is, again, syntactic sugar, because if you were to build this and you go into uh, the IL, which is the intermediate language for how this is compiled, you would basically see that the same thing will be done. It's the inverse of the null check. So the code will still be rewritten into a customer.age, but that's how c -sharp features are implemented in their vast majority anyway. So it is just a simplified way of doing something we could do before. In my opinion, very welcome change, but I'd like to know what you think. So leave a comment down below and let me know what do you think about this feature? And is there anything else null related that you would like to see in c -sharp? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Well, that's all out for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep coding.